What's up? We are back with something new. Yeah, we're doing Because the Lost Vikings will never, ever be finished. We're super playing it. But this is a new Genesis game. Totally new. It came out, came out this year. But it's played on the PC. <laughs> Sonic Spinball! Everyone's most classic favorite Dude, Sonic game. At least it's, it's definitely my favorite Sonic game. Yes, this is... Everybody knows this, actually. This is a common <laughs> knowledge thing for your friends <laughs> and acquaintances. Yes. <coughs> so, um, we are playing Sonic... Well, I played Sonic Spinball. Yes, this is Tim and Matt played. <laughs> Tim and Matt watched Tim's gameplay of Sonic Spinball. So Which, we are way more interesting when we are talking over uh, Jinxed Us, but we are much more interesting if we are talking over a game we already played than if we're trying to play one. Yeah, we realized that uh, we're playing Lost Vikings since we're actually playing. It's really boring. So I'm not doing very well at this moment, but... And this is your favorite game that famously... Or infamously. Infamous. The infamous party. <laughs> the, go ahead. Okay. Let the world know it. Here's the story. So, um, I went, the very first party I went to as part of my improv troupe that I joined in college, um, I was just kind of looking around, talking to people. I noticed, hey, you have a Sega Genesis. Awesome. That's like the only game system I had when I was a kid uh, was a Genesis. And, oh, you have Sonic Spinball. <laughs> we got to play this. And they were like, okay, I mean, that's cool. Yeah, we can play that. All right. So I got some people together, because you can play multiplayer. Kind of. Uh, it's turn-based. So turn-based like, multiplayer, First right. player goes, second think, player think goes. Think Super Mario so, Brothers. Like, you, when you die, the next player picks it up. Right. So I was player one, and because I was like, hey, let's, let's go, let's play. You already got the first Chaos Emerald. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to blaze through this. <laughs> Keep going. So man. I get the, uh, I, I'm player one, and, uh, and I start playing. And then, about an hour later, I beat the game, <laughs> and it says, player two start. <laughs> and they're like, no, we're not playing more of this. But like the whole time I was playing, they were like, are you kidding? Like, we've never gotten this far. It was, I was like in the second level. They're like, what are you doing? Third level. Is this a new level? What, we've never seen this before. And I was like, you guys, really? You have this game. How are you not beating it? So Right, and, and that's because that's what you always want to do at parties. Oh, yeah. Is, is bring it down. <laughs> Start up a game you played when you were a kid, yep. and don't let anybody else play. Like that's the thing with these, <laughs> these weird games that I had when I was a kid that no one can seem to play. Or Which beat. is what this YouTube channel has turned into. <laughs> yeah, well, is mean, playing really, Tim's like, childhood games. Tim and Matt revisit Tim's childhood. We uh, have played one of my games, which it's so bad. I picked the worst game. <laughs> Typing of the Dead. Typing of the Dead was awful. Uh, but yeah, it's like I. I this is all we had, so we played the crap out of them, became experts in the field of these weird games. In the games. field! <laughs> and now we can alienate all of our friends with these games. <laughs> so yeah, your first college party, well not, probably not your first college party. No, but, but my first improv group uh, Which out. those are usually pretty awesome. It was fun, I mean, I think they had fun watching me beat Sonic Spinball. Uh, you hope. I hope. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was fun it was, for them. It was fun for them, for me especially. Uh, but yeah, so this, you're already almost done with the first stage. Um, I have, I think, I have to get two more emeralds. So I got the first one, and I'm about to get the second one. And all I have to do is come back to the same spot and get the third one. I, I kind of miss the, uh, the days when... Number two. Awesome. The days when, like, everything could be a pinball. So they had... <laughs> Uh, they had Kirby's Pinball Land for well, Game Boy, and I played that like crazy. Yeah, I never played it because Game Boy. you didn't ever do Nintendo. <laughs> no. <laughs> but, so that was a lot of fun. Um, and then they had Sonic Spinball that came out, and I'm like, okay, everything is a pinball. Sure, yeah. And then on Game Boy Advance, they had Mario Pinball Land mm -hmm. as well. So it's like everything. Pinball was a big deal. Yeah, you could turn any guy that could turn into a ball and into there was a pinball. Even, I remember a friend of mine had, it was just a Sega Pinball Creator game. Oh, just, yeah, pinball construction set. Yeah, that was awesome. Just, yeah. He always picked the bloody ones, like when you hit the balls, hit the things, blood would spurt out of them or whatever. That's all I remember. That came out on the... All Emeralds Collected. The like on PC, like old school PCs, not like uh, Windows, it, Wintel machines, but like, it was like the Atari ST or the Amiga or something. Like that, that was one of EA's like big first pinball games, creator. I believe, pinball creator set. Uh... Here's a little bit of history nonsense for Yay. you. Uh, everybody loves these little <laughs> anecdotes. EA uh, started developing for Genesis because they had a lot better licensing deal, but before they even got licensed, they reverse engineered the Sega Genesis and built their own dev oh. kit. And then they went to Sega and said, 
hey, like, we built our own. How about, like, even better terms? And then, because we're going to just release whatever anyway. And yeah. so they got, like, a more lucrative deal out of it. That's cool. Yeah. I was half listening yeah. to uh, your story. <laughs> I, like, read a lot of dumb books and stuff about <laughs> video game history because I am the cool guy at the party as well. So, uh, not to change the subject or anything, but... No, wait, go ahead. So, <laughs> Sonic Spinball starts in the sewers. Yeah, kind of like... I love how, like, lime greeny oh, gunky yeah, it's it is. Amazing. So, like, Robotnik... Uh, look at this boss. It's the dumbest looking thing. Jump Jesus. inside! Scorpion! So, uh, <laughs> it's like I'm assaulting Robotnik's, like, fortress. And so yeah. I start in the sewers. I, I don't know how this just happened. I bounced out of his tail and that has never happened to me. And this is the most annoying crap. So these boss levels, when you fall down the edges and you dump down the middle, uh -huh. usually they dump you at the very bottom of the <coughs> level. Right. For I don't know why I still have mud down there popping me back up. But I don't know. But I that's digress. good for you, right? It is good for me. Um, but so you start in the sewers, and there are a few ways to get up through the level. And I have you know, found the fastest way. But um, And then the next level we're going to end up in is like the boiler room. Uh -huh. There's a lot of lava and stuff. And then... What I found playing through it again as an adult, and not just a kid, is that in these first sewer levels, the level is kind of designed a little friendlier than the other ones. The angles uh, bounce you into safer territories. Right. Like they, and I don't know, like the logistics of designing that must have been difficult, but like the common angles for the flip was to, to throw you in, hit you back into safe places. Right. And uh, that was something I found in the later levels that really started to just drive me nuts when I was trying to beat this and wanted to <laughs> sit through all the sprite tiles. Oh yeah, just they like he actually like squares out. He really tried. Man, the frame rate is just tanking. Uh, I think it just looks like that. That didn't look too bad. <laughs> like that's just what I. I remember this game looking the worst out of any of our Sega games. So ever. the frame rate on this game is really low, and I remember yeah. that specifically when I played it back on the Genesis. This right. is the Steam release, which I think is just mm -hmm. a Sega emulator. It is, that it's they, an emulator. Yeah. So that each level afterwards you get these little mini levels. And these are so much harder than the actual game to beat. You get three balls, it's like an actual little pinball arcade. Uh-huh. But the like the hitbox around the ball is pretty terrible. <laughs> um, and it just kinda slides through the flipper sometimes. It's really awful. I don't think see I just lost one and just slid you you were looking at I, I actually I'm looking something up about this game. Uh, but yeah, the I think I actually beat one in this playthrough, which I was pretty jazzed about because I usually just lose them immediately. The balls just fly down through. Just crumble on down. Yep. I'm gonna keep filling dialogue while you look up your thing. I'm 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 want to see who developed this. Um, Sega. <laughs> yeah, but was... I want to say this was Sega in America. Oh, instead of Japan. Oh, uh, it was STI. STI is the American was the American branch of yeah. Sega, like the development team. That's actually STI is where they made Sonic 2. Oh, okay. um, because Yuji Naka, the guy who created Sonic, um, uh, I think it's Yuji Naka. Uh, he he came over because he was so pissed off with uh, the development at Sega of Japan. Really? <laughs> yeah. And so they're like, no, just come make it over here. And that's why it looks better than this. Uh, well, this one, I don't think Yuji Naka had anything to do with well, That's this. what I mean, like, because yeah. Sonic 2 looks way better. Yeah. Because that's the one thing I remember, too, is that this game looks pretty terrible. Yeah, it, it, it looks... It, I think it's supposed to be based on the uh, cartoon show in the comic book, right? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, well, the, yeah, because the... It's really funny, the things that pop up when you do well, it's like, Hog Wild, yeah. and stuff like that, which is... Like, where of, he had, like, a lot of Jaleel White tune. Yeah. <laughs> Chili Dogs! Chili Dogs! I oh, see, I lost this... It, like, I, I like these little mini games, but they, they just seem like a waste of time. So here we're in the boiler room, the boom, the lava powerhouse. Because everyone fuels their evil fortresses <laughs> with lava. Also, uh, every evil fortress is based on a 2D plane. Hey, we started uh, another video. Let's yeah, but they won't know that. Maybe they'll see the skit. Uh, I don't think so. Well, maybe they'll know now. Okay, well, they'll definitely know that now. Surprise me. <laughs> But yeah, so this game is, I, I want to say it's based on the cartoon. I don't know. I think I recently heard that um, in one of the podcasts that I listened to. And did you ever read the, the Archie comics? Oh, yeah. For Sonic? Yeah, Princess whatever. Yeah, yeah. Princess No Pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she had the little, like, crossbow. Yeah, she, she had the crossbow, and she was wearing a vest. Yeah, a vest. That That's was all. what princesses were. 
But it was like, that was such a weird interpretation of Sonic because... It was really weird. Uh, Sonic, like, in the, the first game, he's just, uh... He's like saving animals from Robotnik because he's gonna turn him right. into a robot. Well, that's what this everything I, I kill these little animals. Right, like that. but like in the cartoon, they, they took it to like this weird dystopian. Yeah. Like everybody's a robot. They're the There's... rebels, and she's hey. someone's half robot. Someone has a robot hand. Yeah. Yeah, like they like <laughs> they saved him before the process could complete. Oh, the so board got him. Robot. Yeah, yeah, it's so weird. It's cool. But uh, man, Sonic like chili dogs. Oh yeah, loves chili dogs <laughs> like every hedgehog does. <laughs> like every hedgehog. Pop those chili dogs. Man, he had too much. To, to even <laughs> handle. Because I'm sure they're like, what food? Like, no, nah, it can't be pizza. Everybody eats pizza. <laughs> like, what's dogs. the most tood filled food that we can think of? A skateboard <laughs> covered in ketchup. He ate a skateboard. <laughs> uh, I don't know what friend, a friend of mine, uh, when I mentioned Sonic Spinball, he was like, well, yeah, it's the, it's the actual only, like, real Sonic game. And I was like, what? What? He said, well, his explanation was Sonic was all about controlling an uncontrollable character. Because, like, the answer to Mario was this crazy... Like, the point is to go fast and it's the yeah. super speed and you can't control and he's super tude. And like, he's super like, tude. So he's like, that's what Sonic Spinball is all about. You, you're just flying all over everywhere trying to control. So, I don't know, that was just his opinion on it. Well, at, the, here's the actual how they made Sonic. Yuji Naka uh, got, the idea, got the idea for Sonic uh, in its speed because... They were playing Super Mario Brothers, the first one, uh -huh. and they would see how fast they could beat the first level. So uh, they do it without stopping, right. and they're like, this speed is great, Like the game should be like that, and that's how we got the idea for Speedy Sonic. See, whenever I played Sonic, like the first game and second game, I would want to get all the stuff. Right, which is like the opposite. But they put it all in there, because I guess they, mm -hmm. you know... But I did have someone who I played with when I was a kid, he'd come over and play video games and stuff, and he would just like, hold down right and just jump, yeah. and like, beat the level <clears throat> in a minute. And I was like, dude, you're missing all the stuff! But I think that that is the big disconnect now, because like, the, the big joke is like, oh, when are they gonna make a good Sonic game again? Because right. they're pretty terrible. If you ever played Sonic 06, with, that's the infamous one that was released for the 360, it's I, not even finished. I've barely played Sonic 3, like that's it, as far as I got. It's not it. even a finished game, like they got it and they rushed out the door, Ugh. nothing works. Uh, but the, everybody thinks like Sonic's like gotta go fast, like right. that's what his thing, that's we gotta move about. fast. And the original Sonic had that, but it was it didn't really play like that. There was a lot of stopping right. and exploring and doing that stuff. And when people think that, oh, it's just about going fast. Like, people rarely think about why they like the game, but they remember the big points. Going fast. <laughs> yeah, so, like, when they tell deve like developers, like, how, what new Sonic game do you want? What do you want? Mm -hmm. Like, I just really want to get fast. And they make that, and they're like, this game sucks. It's kind of dumb. Because they were really <laughs> platformers, like... Yes. I remember the... I forget what the stage was called in the first game, but it was, like, the Twilight kind of spacey one. And like that level was so different from all the other ones because mm -hmm. it wasn't a bunch of crazy fast stuff. It was like kind of had a puzzle aspect because there were a few spots where you had to figure out how this chain moved or how like to bounce up on this thing. And there was a lot of more thinking about what you had to do next instead of just racing through the level. And not only that, but they would intentionally put things to block your path. Like yeah. if you kept holding right and wanted to go as fast, you would most likely hit a spring that would send you back yep. or you would hit some spikes. And unless you were paying attention or knew where it was, you'd have to jump. That's a thing in nature. You always gotta watch out for spikes. <laughs> spikes and springs. Spikes and springs. <laughs> so this part of this level is where I think most people got frustrated and stopped playing Sonic. Because you have to ball. just hit all of those things to go up. You have to bounce very correctly on top of one of those clucks, they're called. Clucks. To get, and then this one, you have to do it again on a, it's closer even, so it's harder. And like, I guess people just like, oh, this is stupid and I hate it, what do I even have to do? So you have to jump up, hit them, and get launched you into like the... You have to like bounce up on them. Yeah. You have it. to hit them when they're coming up on their like flow path. So this that is boss right two. Up. This is the second boss. They're just heads. They're just heads in a vat. Robo heads. This is the Roboiler. <laughs> Roboiler. This is what powers his like <laughs> evil fortress. Like, he's he's very ego-maniacal. Oh, everything has to be a big egghead. Yeah. Like, Oh, that's another thing too. He's not Doctor Robotnik anymore. He's the Eggman. Yeah, he's the Eggman. That's stupid. Uh, he was the Eggman for a while. He was the Eggman in the Japanese game, I think. Always. Well, I know, I, but like, I think that's correct. I think that's true too. But that sounds stupid. Well, he's like an egg. He, <laughs> he looks, looks like an egg. He looks like an egg. <laughs> so you gotta kill. But these he's. Four he, they took his away his PhD or his MD. <laughs> He's just Mr. He's Robotnik. He's Mr. Eggman. <laughs> Mr. Robotnik. 
Oh, so this happens to me a couple. This pisses me off. Oh man, so you got to, all wow, the all the way to the underneath. bottom. Like chain unstable. So, um, if you fall down, I think three times mm -hmm. on this boss, the chain breaks. Oh, gross. and then if you do it again, you just die. But it doesn't happen to me. I couldn't believe I fell down. I got so mad. Is it because you're not very good? It's because of my ego. You're also playing a uh, keyboard, right? Yeah, I couldn't tell if it was easier or harder. Because you can, with the arrow keys and the D-pad on the controller, you can kind of influence how you're playing, right. like a tilt. DI. And I, and I couldn't tell if it was more or less influential on my movement, having a keyboard. Did you, uh, do you ever do that thing like, like keys, um, I'm, sure, I'm sure we all do it. Keys are digital, so it's either you're pressing it or you're not pressing it. Now they can measure. It. Yes, there are there are controllers. Oh, you press really hard. Yeah, but like you want to go for it, you're like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's not Super, making any yeah. difference. Yep. You can tell too when I'm playing through this game when I I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I just flip <laughs> the flippers go really fast. Like flip 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 because I'm just like don't fall don't fall don't fall and I just hit them a bunch of times in a row uh, because especially with this game if if you're about to fall or something you just hit it and hope that you get that hitbox and like oh right yeah you, you just nudge it so that it'll bounce around and maybe you can get especially in the last level where there's all I'll talk about it when we get there we, I oh we're gonna get there all the this game uh by this uh gentle viewer bam uh, uh by the time this video is up the other video is up which means we'll have a complete playthrough of sonic spinball yeah two videos boom so the, the frustrating thing about this particular playthrough of mine um, I can beat this game in about 35 minutes. Which is impressive. If I'm doing a good job. And uh, I got through these first three levels in about, I'd say, 25 or 30. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of, it's on the slower end for me, but like I can usually beat it in 35 or 40 minutes. The last level took an extra half an hour this time. Because I'm apparently a little rusty. Uh, yeah, plus you are playing on a different version, uh, which I think it's so fun. I mean, it's just easier that way because of, we don't have like a permanent setup. Um, but yeah. like we, I went through all this trouble. <laughs> it's my own fault. Like went through all this trouble to get like an RGB signal recorded out of a, yeah. a real Sega Genesis, and you own Sonic Spinball. Yeah, but <laughs> but it was a dollar twenty four on Steam. <laughs> you were like, get it. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> just get it, and it'd be easier. Well, the thing is, if we had actually tried to do it like recording Sonic Spinball playing it, we would have to sit here and I'd play it. And yeah. I wouldn't talk and you would talk. And well, we could have... Well, I think what we're... Oh, we're, we could... We're Matt plays around. Sonic Spinball. No, no, no. We're throwing around uh, just always recording first and then talking second. That's true. But I, no, I, I think there is, there is something to recording while we're playing. Especially if it's a game that we're both like, it's co-op or whatever. You're right, we should live stream. <laughs> Um, but we should, uh, keep going with, uh, with, uh, okay, uh, what's the game? Lost Vikings. Lost Vikings. Oh my god, my brain! Yeah, we definitely need to finish that. I would be, I would feel bad if we just left it as is. Yeah. I think this is the mini game that I actually beat. So these take up a lot of time too. Usually I just lose them on purpose so I can keep playing the actual game. But these are a good opportunity to earn points. So do you have to hit all his teeth out? Yeah, you get all his teeth out. But the annoying thing is if you hit his open mouth, it just goes inside. Yeah. And doesn't damage. But he's he's hopping mad. Oh, he's so mad. Eggman. No, those look like... Got he's it. not wearing sunglasses. He was just like had dark eyes. Because we're like nose and parts of his eyes thing that falls down. Like, Gross. I don't know why they pull only this little piece of him behind. Is he wearing one of those like old like Chaplin... Uh, like no mustache, oh, nose. Yeah, that's what that looks like. Yeah. Looks like the Groucho Marx size. Oh, Groucho Marx is what. All I right, mean. so this level is called the Machine. This is the one that dumbfounded all the people at the party. They're like, "Is this a new level? <laughs> is this real life?" And this is, uh, I mean, the the final level is hard, but this is the most frustrating level for me. This is the most technical. Would you say? Yeah, like you have to be really precise with these like rotating wheels. Like you can, and I kept flipping down the side. Oh, and it's got gears. That... So that's one thing too. And I was talking about the first level. If you miss a little bit down on this particular part, you go straight down into those gears and you can't really do anything. Oh wrong. man. Like they're, they're way less forgiving about mistakes later on in the game. So in the, in the first level, like you can bounce around a lot and you're probably not gonna get hurt. And if you fall down in the bottom, you're on a little platform and there's a little monster you have to jump out of. Like right. There are a lot of opportunities not to die. Here, if you fall down, just nope, you're dead. And they, like, the paths bounce you more down than, than up. Um, but I get these emeralds pretty quick. 
time. When you first played this game as a kid, how long did it take you to get to the Oh, game? forever. Really? For uh, years. Years? Years. Wow. Years. It took forever. And I remember cheating and putting in cheat codes to get just do the last level. And then like finally I remember like play an actual playthrough. I probably only did one or two before that party where I Really? Played, that yeah. that was what really sparked it? Emerald 2. Yeah, because then I just stopped playing. It was like it was like Echo the Dolphin, like one of those impossible games that just like, Echo you is can't play. Weird because you end up going into space. Space. <laughs> You're like a dolphin. The thing is, I never got <laughs> past like level three in that game. <laughs> And I just cheated my way to this, to like, oh, I want to see what the last level's like. And I was like, this is stupid and terrible. <laughs> like, you, you start out and, like, it's like a dolphin simulator. Yeah. And you're, like, in the ocean. You're, and it's like, oh, this is nice. Swimming. Like, like, uh, and then space dimensions. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that game is so crazy. <laughs> and it's so hard. Uh, speaking of underwater games, did you ever play the Ariel the Little Mermaid game? I did not. I played a lot of Four these games. Or Emerald Down, by the way. That's pretty good. Uh, Ariel the Little Mermaid is, like, a great game. You can play as Triton or Ariel. Did Some you play? Mind. Which one did you prefer? Well, Triton obviously is a guy, but playing as Ariel... <laughs> he is obviously a guy. <laughs> and so it was like, I have to play as Triton. But I did like playing as Ariel too, because she had like cool powers and stuff. I'd it's, say, a, it's a great game. I, I played I a lot it. of Disney games, uh, but I did not play it for Little Mermaid or Ariel the Mermaid. I think uh, we, I might have it still. Um, you might. I might. I played. I guess um, we're playing that next. I, <laughs> Last Emerald. All nice. emeralds. Collected. All emeralds collected. So do you turn into Supersonic ever? Nope. Wow. You just have to collect all the emeralds to get to the boss. Do you turn into Goku? Because that's really what <laughs> Supersonic is. He's Goku. Goku. He's Super Saiyan. Um. I played. Did you ever play Lion King? Oh yeah, that game is great. That game is hard. The hardest part was the the tree with the monkeys. Yeah, once you got the like, right. when you once, went, once you figured out the path, but like just finding the correct monkey yes. or whatever, that was that was tough. I uh, I actually people don't ever believe me, and I don't know if I could do it today. But uh, I never had a Genesis. I had a Super Nintendo. Uh -huh. So Aladdins were different. Like the Genesis Aladdin and the Super yeah, Nintendo yeah. Aladdin were made by two different people. But the Lion King game was made by the same people. Yeah, and it's the so it's the same game. Same game. Um, and I beat it on Super Nintendo, and it was so hard. Mm -hmm. And people like, there's no way to beat it. I've no, never beat it. I really, it, but I, I, I totally did. It's a rough game. Um, the Aladdin game for a Genesis is really fun. Uh, I played the Super Nintendo one so much. Um, and I never really gave the Genesis one much time of day. Uh-huh. Uh, because, like, the Super Nintendo one was made by Capcom, which I was like, oh, man, Capcom can do no wrong because Mega Man is my favorite. Right. Uh, but that game was really hard, too. But there are very staunch adherents to, I like the Genesis one. Sure. I like the Super Nintendo one. Yeah, I think it does anything. Yeah. There's a really hard level in the Aladdin Genesis game. It's like the carpet ride, the escape out of the mm -hmm. Cable Wonders. On the Super Nintendo, it's really hard too. No one believes me that I can get through that level. They're like, "What? No, that's impossible." It, is it? it so like, you are underestimating the amount of time <laughs> that I spent only playing Aladdin for the Sega Genesis. Did you um, in that in that level? Because then the Super Nintendo one, when you're uh, escaping the Cable Wonders, you're on the carpet and you can move up and down. Yep. And it's kind of like a side there's thing, and there's lava. There's lava coming at you. Yep. It's very hard. It's kind of like battle. And there are like genie hands telling you which way to go. Uh, I don't. Like, maybe this does. Like maybe it tells you. Way, danger coming this way. Like go up and down. Yeah. Because yep. there's like um, like platforms that go up and down and like. Rocks yeah, that one's a really hard one. And that's what really I, I think I remember a lot of people stopping at that one because it it's any slow. level like that is really tough. Like yeah. when Battletoads did that when you're in the. Oh, Battletoads is so <laughs> hard. I. It's so hard. I showed you the image, but I thought it was so funny when Ben Carson was still. <laughs> in the running at all um they had he was like caught lying about a bunch of stuff and someone okay. edited, oh, yeah. someone edited an image of him on some news show and edited the little you know how sometimes they'll um the little caption they'll do a caption like, of whatever they just said and, and ben carson's was i beat battles toads on the first try <laughs> <laughs> you liar <laughs> oh i see i fell down but luckily i had hit the little things for the whatever <laughs> So, like, these little targets, if you're, if you hit all the targets like that I just did, uh -huh. it'll, like, put some safety measure in place, so if you fall down the sides, it'll bounce you back into play, and that's what that was. 
So are you trying to break that too? Yeah. And oh, because they're electrocuting those animals. They turn them into. They turn them into. Things. Oh, those, that's what we're that's, talking about. That's yeah. what this machine does. Oh, right this is what machine. that machine looks like. Yep, looks like a robot in space. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> everything. I, I want to meet his engineering team. Like, uh, it works. Yeah, we don't. It I'm not. I'm not like on it. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. Um, look at those. <laughs> <laughs> the game pieces. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so lazy. Yeah, I, <coughs> I'm gonna say this game had a pretty small team and a pretty rushed, but like time frame. Yeah. All right, that was the end of. Uh, well, no, it's not. Sorry. No, not yet. I said it too early. It was a little. We'll, we'll go over the mini game first. Yeah, and by the way, we might sound a little more raspy, a little more sexier than normal because we're oh, both sick. We are both sick. <laughs> But we couldn't keep away from you, fans. No, we had to keep up our regular, <laughs> our, our regular, regular scheduled programming. Videos. The show must go on <laughs> at some at some interval. <laughs> uh, see, it, like, it just like drifted down right between the paddles. That's <laughs> so dumb. Those are like Rockadoodle up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I remember that movie. Yeah, I watch Rockadoodle all the time. Ah, uh, Rockadoodle. Uh, I watch Rockadoodle all the time, and I watch Ferngold. The Brave Little Toaster. Oh, Brave Little Toaster is my jam. Uh, I loved it. And that scary magnet would come. Oh, that like, magnet was the meanest thing. I remember when the vacuum cleaner ate his own cord. Yeah. Like that was that freaked me out when I was a kid. I was like, Why yeah. is he doing that? Yeah. What's wrong with the vacuum cleaner? <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? He's going nuts. <laughs> They're like, no, he ran over his cord. Yeah, which is funny that they like, because you always, if you've ever done any vacuuming, like, <laughs> you'll do it. It's like, <laughs> damn it. Yeah. As an adult, I think I find a lot more funny things <laughs> yeah. in that movie. But then it's like, oh, this is it. No! All right, next time and next time. Uh, next well, time. I, we don't have to rush. Yeah. You, <gasps> you almost saw that thing we're going to edit out yeah. in post. You're not going to see anything. Nope, suckers. But uh, next time, you'll see it. We're going to finish this up. Yeah, so next time, stay tuned for the final... Level next time. Sonic Spinball on the next time. On the next time. <laughs>